For some of us, our warmest day of the week, if not all of us, some of us warm enough to see some records. We'll show you that in just a second. Still kind of mild over there on the western side of the state with highs mainly in the 70s. We're looking at a lot of 80s for our area, but here comes a cold front that's going to be dropping through tonight. That's going to bring those temperatures down moving forward. 60s and 70s for Thursday and Friday, and then another shot of even cooler air possible as we get into the weekend. So we're looking at highs generally in the 60s, maybe a few 70s on Saturday holding on, and then on Sunday. Sunday, some of us may stall out in the upper 50s with some of that cool air coming into play, and then we're just going to start to warm back up as we get into the early part of next week. Maybe a little bit of rain chasing behind this front Thursday night into Friday. A few areas could get a few drops of rain, but nothing substantial as we remain dry uh, and outlook still show all the way through the rest of the month. Not a lot of rainfall in the forecast whatsoever. So highs today, 70s and 80s across the region. I mentioned some areas could see some record highs today. Sheridan knocking on the door of 90, but if you hit 88, that would be a record. Baker tied a record yesterday, could see a record again today. But the cool down comes in for the next couple of days. Now, if you don't get any of the rainfall, you'll see some cloud cover, especially on Thursday. There's that second shot of cooler air coming in uh, across the weekend to cool us down even more. And then as we get into the early part of next week, we start to see those temperatures warm back up again. Again, Thursday, Friday, very, 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 very slight chance of rain as we continue this long stretch of dry weather.